big story tonight on your news leader. The criteria for evaluating the Memphis Shelby County School Superintendent is under the microscope as board members look to make changes in how they grade her. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. Greg is off tonight. The changes are among the first duties of a newly elected school board. WRG's Brian Ditlake was there as they clashed with the superintendent over changing guidelines. You all did the right thing, not trying to say, here's what we're going to measure and here's the instrument that we're going to do. So to be caught up in a couple of percentage points, you're not as far away as you think you are. Not far away, but stuck. Memphis Shelby County School Board members and Superintendent Dr. Marie Fagans at odds discussing this rubric to evaluate her process. The focus if they should shift some weight from student achievement to staff relations. I do think that we all can agree that we should put a little more emphasis on the staff relations because there's no student achievement without the staff. The past three superintendents graded using this same formula, but after Dr. Fagans received criticism for reductions in staff, some want to change the rubric for grading her. More than 350 district employees told they had to go. Many offered jobs closer to the classroom and with less pay. I do understand why this particular area was chosen and not community relations, although when I was a candidate, what was emphasized to me is how will you work with the community. A Dr. Marie Fagan disagreed with the board members saying the rubric needs to stay the same. She reiterated that about 70% of students are not reading on grade level. I believe that the district's North Star is student achievement and that has been my language and that has been shared as the vision. And now the board and the superintendent must agree on this evaluation process and they got 10 days to do it. We're in downtown Memphis tonight. Brian Ditlake for your news leader, WREG News Channel 3. Hopefully they can reach a happy medium. Thank you, Brian.